What's the deal, baby? You gotta know it is the big boss, how boss dog K po through the dough. He the top this boxing. So, you know, today we're talking about El Spence, man. Got that fight signed against your Dennis Ubers. You know what I mean? Uh, gonna get that third belt. Huh, <sighs> scared me. He doing exactly what he said he was gonna do. The man said that, hey, man, I'm gonna go out here and, you know, I'm gonna collect the belt on my side, then I'm gonna fight Chance Crawford. You know, I mean, you can't hate on that, man. But we're going to get into all that. Uh, you know, first, I'm make my fight prediction. Um, those of y'all who remember, your Dennis Ugas was a mandatory for El Spence. I've been built a while back. Um, of course, uh, I don't know what happened with that. I don't know. You know, I, I, I honestly don't know what happened with that. I think Ugas decided to go the WBC route. That's when he fought Sean Porter. I want to believe, but I could be wrong. <laughs> But I know at some point he was the mandatory for El Spence I built Bill. Um Ugas is a strong big fighter. I wanna say him and Earl are the same size. He might be bigger. Uh strong, come from the Cuban school of boxing. Uh only knock on him is he kinda gives up his height sometimes. You know. Um, but is a smart, intelligent, strong game fighter. Um Coming off of a, a great performance against uh, Manny Pacquiao, retired that man. You know what I mean? That boy Pacquiao was eating soup with his eyes closed. You know what I'm saying? His wife had to feed it to him. He didn't even know where the bowl was at. You know what I mean? He was like a little baby, you know, like an infant. You know what I mean? But, uh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that was wild. But, uh, yo, Ugas, you know, he tough, he game. You know what I mean? And, uh, He's he, for the big fights. He's gotten up, you know. When he was on top rank, he, you know, he, he kind of lost a couple of fights, and you know they kind of just like threw him off to the wind. And then he got with Al Heyman, and then kind of revamped his career. You know what I mean? So, uh, Dennis Ugas is, is a game fighter, uh, strong, and uh, he coming to fight. You know what I'm saying? So what what Dennis Ugas got to do against Errol Spence is he got to outwork El Spence. He got to outwork El Spence. El Spence is coming off this eye injury. Uh, he just got to outwork him. He got to use a jab more than El Spence. El Spence uses his jab a lot. So he going to have to, he going to have, that jab is key. That jab is key in this fight. He going to have to use that jab. Uh, he cannot allow El Spence to get inside. If El Spence does get inside, he going to have to turn him. You know what I mean? So, uh, and Uga's going to have to staff them ropes. But he's definitely going to have to turn there and make air reset and keep that jab in his face. And if he does that, you know, he can, he can come out his with a decision. You know, I think, you know, he possibly could come out with a decision against air if he does those things. Keep that jab in their face, turn air, uh, you, and he just got to use a jab more and stay busy. He's going to have to stay busy in this fight. So his cardio, he better be in shape. Because he's going to have to stay busy this fight. He's going to have to outwork L. That's just what it is. You know what I mean? Um, one thing about L is he'll let his hands go. He's not uh, one of those fighters that, you know, he's not going to throw a lot of punches in a round. He's going to throw whatever you want to do, he's going to do it. So what L Spence got to do is, I think L, this fight for Ugas, he has to do a little bit of boxing. And brawling. What I mean by that is, is you know, because Uga, since he's a strong game fighter, uh, at times, you know, he gonna come inside and work. You know what I mean? So what L got to do is be able to use his feet, maneuver, and use lines and angles to be able to set up Ugas for that straight left down the plank. So what L got to do is work the jab, come forward from the beginning. You know, this one my coach used to teach me. You know what I mean? When I when I had my first fight, and anytime I spar, when you come out that corner, it's, you know, show you dominant. And what I mean by that is get to the center of the ring first and stay in the center of the ring. I think El Spitz got to stay off the ropes this fight. He has to stay off the ropes and get your Dennis Ugas back to the ropes. Ugas hasn't shown me excellent feet work. So I think if Errol get Ugas to the ropes, Ugas might be able to stay there and try to trade with him. And that's when Errol Spence can use 
the calculated pressure, use the jab and set something up. You get what I mean? Use lines and angles. Especially, he don't got great feet, he got decent enough feet to be able to put himself in position to land certain shots. And I think that straight left is gonna be uh, the key in this fight. Um, if Errol Spence does that, go to the body and break Ugas down, land that straight left at will, use the jab, keep Ugas back to the ropes, you know what I'm saying, and get to the middle of the ring and expose dominance, I can see Errol Spence winning this fight by unanimous decision. And Ugas gonna win some rounds. I think it's gonna be 8-4. Air Spence. So I, I see Air Spence winning eight rounds to four. You know. Uh, now of course, Air Spence is gotten back with Blu Ray, who's his uh trainer that he had for much of his career. And uh under Blu ray, he's had nothing but stoppages. I, I can't remember the number, but I know they got none but knockouts when he trained when Blu ray trains him. So as far as his strength and conditioning. So, um, I feel like we'll see, uh, you know, how L. Spence performs, uh, you know, for this fight. I mean, he's coming off a retina injury. So, um, as far as the stoppage, I still think L. Spence will win. I, like I say, I, I can see L. Spence winning, getting his third belt, and then, boom, that's, that sets it up for all the stakes for all the belts against Terrence Crawford. Now, let's talk about that. So it's been a lot of people. I mean, I, I don't really want to go into too much detail because like I said, I'm not going to talk about Terrence Crawford until that fight get made. Or unless he fight somebody else, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to keep linking the two until this fight get made. I, I said that in my last video, but I'll briefly say this. L. Spence is doing the heavy lifting. L. Spence is, he did exactly what he said he was going to do. He said, I'm going to get all the belts and then I'm gonna fight Terrence Crawford. And that's what he's doing. And he's been consistent. His story ain't changed. He ain't said this and then said that. His story's been consistent. Everything he said he was gonna do, he did it. As far as who he fighting, as far as how he gonna fight the person, as far as all that, he's saying, he, he, he said that. You know what I mean? And look how it's going. You see what I'm saying? Um, I think that Errol is on that mode where he gonna want a stoppage. Cause he been quiet, you know what I'm saying? He been real quiet, but um, and when he get like that, <laughs> somebody going to sleep. But, like I said, Ugas is tough, I don't see him doing that. But, like I said, Errol Spence doing the heavy lifting. He getting all the belts, and then he fight. He gonna fight Bud for undisputed, and then that makes it a big, bigger. It makes it bigger stakes because if I got three belts, you got the last belt. It's for all the marbles. There's no oh I gotta wait until this fighter. No, it's for all the marbles now. You know what I mean? Um, I definitely think that. The Bud fans just, and I'm talking about the man fans, I ain't talking about Bud fans, because I'm a Bud Crawford fan. I think that, you know, they just want to see Bud in the top fight. And I and I get it, I do too, you know? I wanted the Spence fight next, I'm not gonna lie to you. I wanted to see Bud Crawford as Spence, but it makes sense for El Spence to fight Ugas and get that belt, because who knows what the WBA was gonna do I mean, they, they was trying to have a little tournament. And Ukas is going to be tied up for the next year. You know what I mean? So, Bud probably, let's just say Bud fought El Spence and he beat El Spence. He wasn't going to be able to get that belt. I'll fight Ukas until 2023. That's a long time. Like, Ukas would have had to fight, you know, the little tournament that the WBA had all 2022. And then Bud would have had to wait till 2023 to fight. You know what I mean? And then Bud says, oh, I want to fight L. Spence and Keith Thurman. Okay. I mean, all right, but why do that when you could just fight L. Spence for Undisputed? 
You don't got to jump through all them hoops. You ain't got to jump through no hurdles. You just go fight L. Spence and get the, and for all the belts. All the belts on the line. You know what I mean? That's like game seven of the NBA Finals. You know what I'm saying? Like all the marbles. So, I, I get it. As a competitor, if I'm here, I would have fought. But, but I understand what he's saying. I understand why he did what he did. And I understand why, you know, from a business standpoint, why getting this other bill makes more sense and getting this fight with Ugas out the way makes more sense because you don't know if he would have been able to go get that bill. That's it. Like I said, let's say L. Smith beat Bud or Bud BL, they have to wait until 2023 to fight Ugas. And that's if he kept his belt. Who knows? Let's say one of these little youngsters, Danny Onis, or, or all of them, you know, they beat Ugas. You know what I mean? And then they go run off to another network. So now you like, because, you know, a lot of these fighters who sign with PBC are signed to network deals. So let's just say, Standing on us has fulfilled his obligation. I don't know how many fights, but I'm just playing devil's advocate. Let's say he fulfilled his fights that he's supposed to have with PBC, and then he run the zone with that belt, or he run the ring star, or whatever you know, uh, Richard Schaefer for most of the company name is Golden Boy or something like that. It's gonna be hard to make that fight. You see what I'm saying? So. L. Spence, like, man, let me just get this belt off this boy. Let me fight him, get this belt, and then go fight Bud for all the marbles. I like that better. Makes more sense. But, like I say, man, is it, it's going to be dealt with the hate, man. Dude, dude fighting killers, man. I don't understand. Ugas beat the brakes off of Pacquiao, bro. We were tired of legend. You feel me? Like, man, stop, bro. Pacquiao was favored to beat the brakes off of uh, L. Spence. They had videos uh, I thought, uh, 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 looking like Pacquiao beating L. Spence and sparring it. Oh, this finna be ugly. L. Spence, L. Spence finna get destroyed. And look what Ugas did to him. And Ugas and L. got a similar style. Tell you, y'all look at L and y'all just be like, this nigga basic. They say that a lot of L Spence fights, he was not favored to win, bro. All Bud Crawford fights, he was favored to win as far as that welterweight. Last time I checked, Nipsey Hussle voice. Last time that I checked, he was favored to win, bro. Landslide. He ain't fought no fights where you be like, man, that nigga. And then the people, they keep using the Mikey Garcia stuff. I'm trying not to get hyped because I just woke up. You know what I'm saying? But they're trying to use the Mikey Garcia stuff. It's talking about, oh, he couldn't stop a lot. Well, Mike Garcia fought two times at 140. And Mikey Garcia, when he was about to fight L. Spence, he was the favorite to beat L. Spence. They said the same thing they saying now. L. Spence is basic. Look what happened to Mikey. Knock the burritos out that boy. What the orderly? So like I say, man, at the end of the day, bro, we are for good fights. I'm all up for good fights. I would have been mad if S. Pierce was fighting Jesse Vargas or something. I would have been like, hell no. Nah. This boy fighting your Dennis Ugas, who's a champion, who just beat Pacquiao. So put some respect on this boy's name, man. Both of y'all.